everyone. So I just got home. It was a long day. Didn't really get tired because of my new diet. So I'm just like, ah, I didn't even clock out. Just kept going and you know, I'm still full of energy right now. I'm kind of tapering down a little bit. We'll see how sleep goes tonight, but sometimes after the first day of adjustment, it's, you know, you gotta detox a little bit and there's a lot of stuff going on. Flushing the body out with all the juices and stuff and the fruit, you know, it does a number on you when you've been eating a lot of cooked food and stuff for a while. So um, for breakfast, pretty much, I ate a handheld watermelon. The little handheld one it's like about 50 ounces of juice when you juice it so I put that in my chronometer and I'll I'll show you my chronometer I use it religiously it helps me keep track of what I'm eating and what kind of nutrients I'm getting and so it holds me accountable for sure then you know about 30 minutes later I had some mangoes I had three mangoes and then I waited about you know one or two hours. I started getting a little bit more appetite again. I ate 16 ounces of strawberries and three bananas. Then you know about a couple hours later, after that, I had um, I had some dates because they're a little bit more dense, so you got kind of go denser throughout the day. I had five dates and then um, a scoop of my protein powder so that's about 2,000 calories worth so far and 50 grams of protein so now that I'm home now I'm hungry I want to eat you know a big salad that'll be what I do tonight because I'm not working out I didn't work out today I haven't worked out in a couple months so I'm gonna start getting back in the gym and that's when I'm gonna up my calories and my protein so Basically for dinner tonight, I'm gonna have a half a pound of red leaf lettuce, a half a pound of green leaf lettuce, half a pound of kale, um, and then I'm gonna have like some avocado, one avocado, tahini, maybe a scoop of hemp seed protein, and I might sprinkle some nutritional yeast on it so I could get some B12 and extra protein. So. I think all in all that dinner will boost me up another I want to say like 40 grams of protein because it's going to be a big salad so I'll be at 90 but when I start working out I'm going to incorporate a big smoothie too at the end of the day so you know and I'm going to sprout lentils tonight so that'll add to it I'm going to start putting that on my salad I just haven't done it yet and then um, what else am I going to I'm going to juice my watermelon for tomorrow so I don't have to eat it because I actually ate it and it's, it's messy when you eat it. It takes a while, so juicing is a lot better. But uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm going I'm gonna to probably post a video in a few days to show you my progress so far. But yeah, just today, a, a bunch of stuff. It's like, you know, I'm getting goosebumps and I feel like I'm fl like flying basically. I'm not so grounded right now. You know, I know everyone wants to feel that tired feeling and they want to eat a heavy meal and just relax and I do too, but you know, from everything I've learned, it's not exactly the best thing for you. It puts a lot of strain on your stomach and it takes away your longevity over time. So I think for now, this is gonna be a good approach and I'm gonna to try to stick with it longer than I did before because I, I went on raw vegan for a little over six months last time. And uh, I got sucked back into the cooked food. It, it happens, you know? So I'm gonna to try to do, pull a John Rose. Well, he's pretty crazy. He's like 29 years raw vegan and like 45 years vegan. So that's insane. But he's, he's like one of my teachers, he's, he's amazing. And I really respect and appreciate him. You can check his YouTube channel out too. He has so much information. Um, so I'll just give you, a, um, I'll recap a little bit on what I ate and I'll show you some chronometer um, so you can kind of see what each thing is and how many calories it has and protein and stuff like that. So 
So thanks for watching guys. Um, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like the video and I'm gonna keep pumping out some more. So I really appreciate you and uh, please comment, you know, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you for sure. So thanks guys, you have a good night. All right.